welcome back to Let's Play Skyward Sword. Huh, well it looks like there's a time shift crystal on this, uh, this dock. Yeah, it's called a dock, that's right. Whoa, there's water. Well, yeah, this does go back like, I think it's a thousand years or something. I mean, couldn't an ocean go away in a hundred years too? Like from global warming or whatever. Eh. Okay. Readjust. Good. Let's talk to. Oh, there he is. Let's talk to the captain. Uh, yeah, I'm just some human. Oh, he's the skipper of the ship that protects the neighbor's flame. Oh, where is it? Uh, where is the ship that has the neighbor's flame? Is it easy to get to? Is it portable? Oh. And then some. Oh, the brutes. Oh, pirates! The ones from Wind Waker? No, no, not those pirates. I uh, know, not the pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean either. You know, the Pirates of the Caribbean series is really good in my opinion. I didn't care so much for the second movie, but um, the first and the third I thought were really, really good. Even though the third one has its own flaws as well, but you know, you can't beat the first one in that series. Turning out somewhere you can't see it. Why not? How come you can't see it? Oh, become invisible? Like that ship in the Avengers? Yeah, I'm gonna start making Avengers web references, of course. Not too many, though. No, that sounds cool. Well, why'd you show up here, then? Did you, like, crash your ship? Yeah, I'll help. I don't see why not. I mean, I need the flame, and it's in the same direction, so it sounds good. Something weird about my map. Why is that? Oh, a sea chart. For the desert. Sure. But yeah, actually, this is a useful thing to get. Thanks. I, let's go out to sea. It's not as beautiful as it would be like in like the lake in Twilight Princess or the ocean in Wind Waker or any of that, but it's actually really nice. The neighbor's sand sea. Even though it's not sand on the boat, but eh, whatever. Let's see if you know oh, how to navigate. So move with the joystick, A to speed up, B to use the cannon, oh, ready, ready the cannon, A to fire it. Sounds easy enough. And so X marks the spot, so we basically want to go to where the X is. Sounds easy enough. Okay, let us go. Basically this way. And yeah, we can only speed up for so long before we have to let the, the engine cool. I think we're going the right direction. Yeah, yeah, we are. It doesn't take too long to get here, but it's pretty much the same thing. I like this, it's very unique how you use a time shift orb to go across the sand ocean and actually make it water like it was back then. I like it a lot. Too bad this place doesn't get more rain, but well, it's close enough. It's very beautiful and unique and they need stuff like this in more video games, where it's very interesting and different from a lot of video games we usually play, instead of a, go kill this guy, kill that guy, oh, destroy this building, or get this item, get that item, you know? There's interesting stuff in between all that, you know? I mean, at least the Zelda series ain't like a Call of Duty series. They at least change it up quite a bit for every game. I like that. Oh, yeah, you can't wander far from the boat because, well, you'll you'll die. <laughs> so we basically have to get to his house at the very top. And let's save here real quick. I forgot to save in the last episode. I might as well use the bird statue so I can come back here off screen. Yeah, that, that'd be nice. Whoa. Let's go up here first. Can I use this thing? No? Oh, they're gonna make me go the long way. Let's see, let's use a bomb on this guy. Bomb voyage! I don't know any French besides like one or two words, so don't get me started. Yay, full health! It's always a good thing to have full health. Kill that guy, and then use our claw shots. Ah, oh, the claw shots, I'm so glad they returned. It makes me, it makes me uh, wonder if the claw shots got really dirty and they had to re-establish them in Twilight Princess because, well, they 
And yeah, you can't go down, see? They, they don't... Uh, they're silver, because in this game the claw shops are gold, but in the other one they're silver. Oh, I almost had it. Huh, those guys only took off half a heart? Hmm, for some reason I thought they took off a heart. Well, maybe in the hero's mode they take off a heart. They probably do, but not in this one. And here we get a not-so-secret passage. Why would it be secret? I mean, it's here. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Calm down! Get off me! You don't have permission to be on this! Now, well, that'll be the end of the day. Let's see, where's my next target? There we go. I don't worry about coming back down the same way. We'll have a different way to get down, so it's, it shouldn't be a problem. Almost. Wow, I failed. There we go. How long have you guys been playing Zelda? If you have been playing Zelda. I've been playing Zelda for... Ah, oh, the bugs committed suicide. Ha! Come here. There we go. You know, little and they ant. I've been playing Zelda since I was six years old. My first Zelda game was Oracle Seasons, and... Uh, no! Uh, and then my dad got me... Haha, <laughs> this guy. My dad got me Ocarina of Time after that, and I got Oracle of Ages on my own time, and it turned out great. Now this guy, you cannot break his shield. See how I, my sword slash didn't cut up his shield at all? It's because his shield is iron. So we can't break the shield, but guess what? We can jump over it. So then we can get the bat. Jeez. You still take a long time, buddy. My goodness, how many hits do you take? Does this guy have more health than his brother? With the water shield? Don't fall on me like a gigante in Resident Evil 4. That'd be a bad idea. Although I really hated them in Resident Evil 5. I mean, they made that so cliche. It wasn't even unique. I mean, the gigante fight in Resident Evil 5, they, they throw you on a jeep, and then you just take a gun to him the whole time. And on professional mode, it's nearly impossible to do it. I, I, I don't know why they did it like that. Well, I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe that would be more interesting, but I thought it took away from the value of the game. And I'm only complaining because they did such a great job uh, with Resident Evil 4 on fighting the Gigantes. And they totally just... They ruined it in 5. I don't like it in 5, obviously. But, uh, can't get everything you like. There we go. And we got another Goddess Cube. Gotta get those cubes! Maybe she'll buy us a GameCube when we're done with this. Well, then again, we kind of play this game on a GameCube, so... Eh, that's okay. No? I can't wait for the 3DS Zelda game. Miyamoto says it's gonna be relating to uh, Link to the Past. Uh, something like that, whether it's a prequel Link to the Past, a sequel, a spin-off, or... I don't know, something relating to a Link to the Past. And honestly, I... I can't wait for it. it. It looks amazing. Now these are the birds that will burn your shield if if they uh, they get to you. Oh, they shoot fire at you. Oh, what am I doing? I need the whip. <laughs> Silly me. Ah. Okay, one more time. Come on. Oh, I I jumped the gun there. I should have waited a few seconds. Because these guys will shoot fire you and knock you off when you're using your claw shot, so you you really do want to kill them. Come here. Yeah! Well, that was quick. Hey, these guys are the ancient cistern, too. Well, there you go. Yeah, simple enough. Come on. Huh, is there a pea hat around here I can grab? Uh. Huh. I can't make that. There must, there must be another way around. What's this? Oh, okay. I wonder what this will do. And for releasing this, this will release a, a pea hat. Too bad we don't have that cool dragon battle like we did uh, in Twilight Princess with all the pea hats and double claw shots. That was freaking amazing. I, I wish they'll, they'll do something like that again. But, uh, 
No, they won't. Alright. I mean, they might, but not in this game. Although, I, love, I do love how they brought the claw shot to that. I like the claw shots better than the hook shot, but that's just me. We all have our own favorites, right? Ooh. Any tomb here? Nope, nothing. Yeah, they're dragonflies, not butterflies, of course. Oh, wait a minute. I do not want to do that. I'm glad it didn't work out. I want to take my beetle there instead. I do wish the beetle was faster though, but it, it's it's not. There we go. Stinking uh, Deku Bombas. They're evil! They're all out to kill us! They're gonna wait a war on the wall and we're gonna have to call the Avengers to come save us. Okay, actually, the Avengers don't even take care of some silly beetles. Can I? No, I don't want to try that. Who's attacking me? Come here! No, the... Ah, my goodness. Okay, now it's definitely gonna be this one. Ready for it? There we go. Now I can take care of that bird. Come here! That's worth it. As long as you die, I consider it to be worth it. I hate those birds. But at least they can't stone me or be extremely annoying like some of the birds in Final Fantasy. Even though Final Fantasy 3, the cockatrices are lizards. I can't remember if they were birds, but I thought they were. And I'll look it up later. There we go. And then now we can get to the target. Man, how does this robot get up here? Oh, it, that's right. He can fly, right? Well, and well, when we got to him, I guess he he can't fly even a thousand years back. I guess I don't understand why he likes sailing the ocean so much. Well, hey, back off. Man, this place is like a graveyard. Well, let's clean the place up and see what it has. What it has? Oh, there's a treasure chest. That was pretty simple. Some pots, an amber relic. Might as well get that. Oh look, there's a picture of the ship. At least I think that's the ship. Jeez, do I ever use these amber relics? I probably do, I just don't think of them as being so important. It's pretty sad that all these robots can't work anymore. Okay, I cleaned the place up enough to want to do anything. And yeah, you could get up here, but Oh, well, there not really anything to do with that, so... Let's look around! Oh, well, that must be the ship they're talking about. Wow, even back then they had photography. That's pretty darn amazing in my opinion. Wow, that's nice. Do a nice big anchor. So that's the ship we're looking for, huh? I think he said the pirates took it or something like that, but uh, that's the ship we're looking for. And inside this treasure chest, we get, obviously, the sea, the ancient sea chart. Yeah, because they'll, they'll, they'll help us out a lot. Yeah, this is Skipper's sea chart, all right. Oh, not the pictures? No, I kind of already looked at them. He is jumping the... Is that a fish he's trying to get? Or a human? I think it's a fish. Yeah, whatever. Oh, there's a 90% chance? Isn't it, wouldn't it be a hundred percent? Because we obviously know that there's pirates on the ship. Uh, Fee, I don't know what to do with you sometimes. Oh. Yeah, none of these uh, robots can talk. I wish they would. They'd have some very interesting stuff to say, but... Well, there's nothing else we can do there. I'm not sure if that music in the house plays anywhere else in, a video, in this video game, but it might. I just can't remember. Alright, let's take the shortcut down. Yeah, there's a nice big shortcut. That doesn't involve jumping to our deaths. Yeah, here we go. We can take these all the way down, and this will allow us to come back here with easy access, because it'll be down next time. So that's real nice. Uh, it's nice that they won't make us go back down the long way, but yeah, I like it. Very interesting tool. It reminds me of... Uh, what does it remind me of? Oh, the, those, those ramps in Call of Duty where they basically... They do the same thing. 
Something like that anyways. Hey, I, I got the sea chart for you, buddy. Here you go. It's proper navigation. Well, now we can properly navigate. So let's set sail. Maybe they'll be at the... Uh, maybe the pirates will be at the resting spot. Because usually pirates, like, resting somewhere that's not on a ship and... What, what would you want to call that? Oh, a hideout, perhaps? Oh, wow, there's a lot more sea to this map now. Way over there, huh? Huh. Oh, that doesn't look like it. Oh. Okay, sure. The shipyard, huh? Oh, your ship was built there? How long ago was that? Oh, probably a thousand years ago! Alright. Alright, let's go that way. You can basically see it from here, so it's not too hard. Uh, not too hard to get to, I should say. And yeah, just speed our way there. And if you run out, your ship will just stop until it recovers. Kind of like Link's down a bar when he's running. So, uh, well, don't worry about it, I should say. And yes, rocks come out of nowhere to try and kill you. But yeah, don't worry about it. And you can run over these guys if you want to. I mean, in my opinion, it's pretty darn fun because I hate those guys. Whatever they're called, I don't care. But And now we can't get through this little opening here. We have to keep going around because it's not big enough for the ship. I kind of wish it was. Oh, and no, you can't shipwreck your ship like in Phantom Hourglass or anything. Although, in Wind Waker, I don't think you could shipwreck uh, the King of Red Lines. I just, I think you just got knocked off and you died. And sometimes you got knocked off very far away from your ship. I'll get around helping that eventually. I kind of want to do Resident Evil 4 and Kingdom Hearts first, and I got a request to do Majora's Mask before Wind Waker, so I'll get to it eventually. No, not the binds, not the rails, no. I've had horrible traumatic flashbacks from Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country Returns. Because they weren't that bad in 2. They are actually pretty easy. Ah, oh, man, you're making all mines? Oh, I guess I'm gonna be Indiana Jones Link now. Oh, the door's locked, huh? Is there another way I can get in then? Maybe a back door or something? Oh, yeah, the minecart track. Thank you for bringing back those flashbacks, game. Okay, a minecart station. Oh, well, that's utterly convenient. Is that door locked too? I I hope not. Anyways, let's go. Oh, and here's another bird statue. Save often. Oh, that's not like Ninja Guy and Sigma, where if you don't save, you literally screw yourself over because every time you die, you go back to the save point. And that difficulty is insane. Oh, too bad I can't take this all the way up. Huh, that's okay. Wind? 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 Okay, wind? Hold on. Wind? Nah, I suck at that. Ah, two of these guys again? Well, at least we have the long sword this time. Oh! Man, I almost got hit there. Ah! Now, take it back, I didn't get hit. Goodbye! Hey! Man, I wish Link's uh, attack was so delayed. Yes, and for defeating him, we get a lizard's tail. I can't remember why these are useful. Well, I have two of them. What's the third one? And you can always come back here uh, again and again in order to uh, farm the lizard tails if you if you really want to. I I just choose not to because I don't need them. Uh, no. No. Man, I wish I was Spider-Man right now. This would make my life a lot freaking easier. Whoa. Uh, hi, Goron. I'll just take a seat if you don't mind. Oh, that's your seat. No, oh, I'm sorry, buddy, but I, I like to heal up. I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. Will these minecarts be as annoying as the ones in Donkey Kong Country? Or will we die and find out? Find out next time. Well, let's play Skyward Sword. Have a good day.